So over the past 12 hours, we've seen many new features of Shadowkeep coming out of PAX. Today we get a look at all new exotics, as well as Garden of Salvation raid weapons and a few other bits and bobs. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so a massive shout out to Midge Media, a pal of mine, for providing me the information needed for this video and credit to those on Reddit for the post which we will be covering today. Links to both Midge and Reddit can be found linked within the video description. Okay, so out of packs, we have seen images dropped or leaks, I suppose, to the world and today we check them out. Firstly, that badass Void Rocket Launcher, people refer to as a Void Galahorn. We actually have more information on this. It's called the Death Bringer. Its intrinsic perk is called Dark Deliverance. Fires remotely detonated projectiles that drop void orbs on enemies. Hold shoot to fire, release to detonate. So actually people, everybody referring to this as the Void Galley, they're actually wrong. What this is, is actually seems to be a Void Dragon's Breath. Pretty cool. It also has another perk called Dark Descent, but we don't know or have a description of this at the moment. Now, I will say this could be a placeholder name for this weapon. We do see this with uh, another exotic we will cover today. So, yeah. But at the moment, the Deathbringer, the Void Dragon's Breath, comes with Shadow Keep. Okay, so next up, we have a first look at a bug machine gun, which we definitely see it has a placeholder name. This was first revealed as a weapon model, I believe, was at Guardian Con or an event just before. But this is the first in-game image we've seen of this weapon. We can see its stats also with that max impact, beastly, and its intrinsic is called Pyrotoxin Rounds, for its high-powered explosive ammunition. Wicked. Next up we get a look at the Raid Exotic Reward. This is believed to be this due to the exotic being within the new Garden of Salvation Raid tab. The weapon is that Vex Trace Rifle that we've seen so much on, and it's called the Definity. Its intrinsic is called Judgment. Sustained damage with this weapon envelops the target in a field that weakens and disrupts them. And we saw this in action a while back via a Vidoc. At the time we didn't know this was a raid exotic, but now it seems we do. This is an exotic trace rifle. Fire it on an enemy and it creates a big old crit spot. We also get a look at some of the raid weapons, even though we can only see their icons that they look pretty cool. Now what I believe I can confirm now people is that weapon we were very unsure about which we saw ages ago via I believe was it a trailer or a Vidoc I'm not sure. This one you can see on screen now. I can more or less guarantee you guys that this is that weapon we see there called the Omniscient Eye. We also see a bow here, which I think is a kinetic bow, which is great if it has random rolls, that's good news. We also see a hand cannon called the Ancient Gospel, an LMG called the Reckless Oracle, a scout called the Sacred Provenance. We see a weapon there called Zealot's Reward. This I believe could maybe be an auto rifle or maybe a fusion. And then we see a shotgun called the Prophet of Doom. Now these weapons in my opinion do look absolutely unique and have an amazing design. So I'm pretty certain these are raid weapons. We also see what's believed to be raid armor too. Problem I have here though people is these are reskins as pointed out by a user on reddit. But even so, even though they are reskins, I bet they will offer a super unique touch on the design template used for them. We will see. But yeah guys, that's all I have for you today. If anything else comes out of packs, I will have you covered right here on my channel. But yeah, a few new exotics with information on said exotics for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, really helps out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.